hi, and welcome back to Love It or List It, the game. When we last left off, we found something a lot worse than asbestos in the walls. That's right, we found dry rot. <sighs> Alright, so let's face our nightmares. <laughs> that, is, that is the sound of a wild roo not, not wanting to proceed forward, in case you're wondering. Oh, the house is covered in dirty footprints. They are all over the place. Can I leave? There's a sticky dark substance all the way from the door handle to the table next to the door. Sure, let's read the instructions again. Wow, maybe he read the instructions and he was like, Son of a bitch, what does she think this is? A motherfucking game? You try pulling it off, but it seems firmly stuck to the wood. It's sturdy enough that it doesn't rip when you try and tear it in half. Meanwhile, there's something else you need to check. <laughs> wow. There are footprints leading here. Your purse looks like it was moved. You take a look inside. Hmm, you can't be sure of it, but it seems there's a couple of things missing. I thought it was going to give me a list, so I at least had, like, some kind of idea. Okay. Well, apparently he just needed to make a phone call, so, you know. That's cool. <laughs> Don't feel like watching TV right now. It's the phone. Call someone. Should you call her and tell her what happened? No, it'll just worry her. And then she'll tell your dad and him with his heart condition. You can probably sort this out on your own. No, you can't. There are times when you need to just realize you need to call mommy. And this is one of those times. <laughs> you shouldn't bother him with a son on a Sunday. You can call him tomorrow. The fuck I can't? Hell no! I would be like, uh, no, I gotta go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Fine. <laughs> I don't want to go upstairs. <laughs> don't make me! Handful of books still left. Mm -hmm. Still need to unpack these. Well, he didn't have to go to the bathroom either. I never realized he and I would have so much in common. Okay, well, it won't let me take the deodorant spray. Wow. It's your bed. It's covered in footprints and your pillow is missing. What a little fucking weirdo. Your pillow's on the floor, dirty and ripped. It's your computer. Read email. Alright, well, nothing new here. I want to see if he's, like, hiding in the closet or anything. Guess not. Why can't I take the camera and take pictures of what the fuck happened to my house? I feel like that's a very necessary step. Well, let's go face the window. It's dark outside again? I'm just barely... Ugh. Yesterday couldn't possibly be true, could it? That creature! Please don't do it again. The rational part of your brain wants to deny it and chalk it up the, to that blow it to your head. However, the other part of your brain, the one that can't help entertaining the idea of superstition, very superstitious, the supernatural and the unknown, says that what happened was very much real and very much a threat and that maybe we should invest in some Christmas lights soon and, uh, you know, a bike and some 10-year-olds. You decide to entertain that part of your brain. So far, you only know a handful of things about this thing, but nothing concrete enough for you to make an objective assertion about what it is. Speculation won't lead you anywhere, though. What you should do right now is go over the facts and make sure to focus on the ones that are the most important. Okay, I don't want to say it only comes through the window because I don't know that for sure, but it does only come at night. So far, the thing has only manifested itself at night. During the day, the house's window remains firmly closed. 
Although you also need to take into account the possibility that the timing could have just been a coincidence. So you can't be 100% sure it won't come during the day. Still, it's better than nothing. Um, didn't go after you before. True, didn't leave the house with me. So that thing came inside your house at least once before yesterday. It had plenty of chances to come after you before. So why didn't it? Was it toying with you? Was it sniffing out the food? What does it want with you, aside from taking you somewhere, probably inside the other house, if sin is to be believed? Would it come back again today? Would it try to take you again today? Because if it does, I need to leave. It didn't chase you out of the house. For some reason, it didn't pursue you when you went outside. You tripped and were knocked out. It had enough time to drag you back inside. Did it stop because it wanted to? Or was it because it couldn't go outside? Was it just another way of messing with you, like it seemed to be doing before? Would leaving the house actually help? Although you can't fathom why, it seems this thing only comes through this specific window. Daisuki-sen seemed to have thought so too, as this was the only window boarded up and the only room locked. Locking the window itself didn't do any good, though. It managed to unlock it from the outside somehow. Maybe that dark substance you found on the lock has something to do with it. <sighs> Turns out you don't know much, do you? The feeling of threat, though, feels very much real. No matter how many ways you try to spin it, your gut tells you that staying in this house would be a very bad idea. You feel defeated. What was supposed to be a lucky break turns out to be a nightmare. Although, despite feeling reluctant to leave the house over something so unsubstantial, yeah, let's go with that, so out there, you have this feeling that it's better to leave now before something bad actually happens. You should pack the bare minimum at least before nightfall, though you do feel a bit uneasy walking around the house so empty-handed, considering what might be coming. Can I close it? Why can't I close it? <laughs> oh, great. All right, so an old memory pops into your head. It's of your dad and his peculiar way of getting rid of bugs and other insects back home. Because you lived in the countryside, some large insects often found their way into your home. So your dad, with his unconditional hatred of all sorts of creepy crawlies, also found an unconventional way of dealing with them. I wonder if I can use this deodorant spray like he did. He would essentially make a homemade flamethrower with an aerosol spray and a lighter, and somehow he would always manage to keep from burning the house down. He even taught you how to make one before your mother completely forbade him from using it inside the house, and especially in front of you. Well... You are obviously not dealing with a bug here, but it's not like you have any weapons inside the house aside from maybe a regular knife. Should you take the deodorant spray? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Obtain deodorant spray. <sighs> okay. Can you define bare essentials? Huh? And why can't I lock the door? Why can't I do anything to bar the possible passage of this fucking thing? Should you start packing now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. You should pack as quick as possible and pack only the absolute minimum. And then, once you're out of the house, you can figure out where to go. Thought it was going to be like a mini game. <laughs> Some closed documents and not a lot else. This is probably enough, though. You've already spent enough time packing as is. It's getting dark already. Time to go. Oh my god. It was still in the house. This wasn't here before? You tried clawing at the dark substance, but it refuses to give way. But if this is here, that means... It was under the stairs. It's already here! Oh, shit. You're standing right between that creature and the way out. Oh, goosebumps all over. However, the door being blocked by that dark substance, it's more like you're cornered at a dead end. 
The creature stands in front of you, fingers stretched out and mouth stuck somewhere between a grin and a snarl. Sharp rows of pointy teeth. It doesn't seem to be in a hurry to do anything, but it's steadily coming closer and closer to you. You don't know what it wants, but the malicious intent is unmistakable in its eyes. I'm jumping out that fucking top window. What should I do? Use the lighter and spray! You don't have any way of getting out through here, so your only hope is running away. That thing is blocking the way, however. You suddenly remember you have both the deodorant and the lighter with you. Maybe you can use it. <gasps> Maybe you can't. You tried getting the spray and the lighter into position as fast as you could, but it wasn't fast enough. Bad end. I guess I should have ran first. Or not bad end. I thought it was going to be a bad end. I'm sorry, when it comes down to that, you know, psychological aspect of fight or flight, I'm always a fight. <laughs> Can't help it. It's going to get me killed one of these days. Mark my words. It's going to be like, not very well-known YouTuber dies. <laughs> Should have flight. <laughs> Instead fights. <laughs> Oh, could you stop? Is it just like pacing? Can I move? Can I do anything? Nope. Can't seem to move. Can't seem to do anything. Okay, so that was not the right choice, guys. Mm -hmm. And now we know. All right, so um, none of that other shit matters. We're gonna go get, gonna check the door, go through all the things. All right, there we go. Oh, wait. I got a different thing. Maybe you could also use them to collect some proper evidence. Ew. This could be a good place to hide and wait, but would it be a good... No, do, do. All right. Okay, so I went through a different list of options because I was just pushing space. I thought it would be the same. I was wrong. Um, maybe you can use this, take a photo of the thing, then you'd have some solid evidence. Take the camera. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hmm, won't let me do the deodorant spray thing. I still have the lighter, so I don't know why it won't let me. Hmm. Yeah, it won't let me actually check under the stairs either. So there's nothing I can do about that. Can't believe they won't let me call someone, anyone, to get some fucking help. Like, for realsies. Okay, still don't have the deodorant commentary yet. Well, it won't... <laughs> it won't let me get the thing. <laughs> May have to just go ahead and load. I should have checked the door, I guess, first. I think I did things in, like, the wrong order. So I couldn't get what I needed. Check my purse. Things missing. Yep. Check the phone. Don't call mom. Don't call a motosan. I read through the notebook last time. I don't know if that actually matters, but sure. So the creature knows that I've come into the house now. Okay. It only comes through the window. It only comes at night. It didn't go after you before. And it didn't chase you out of the house. 
Turns out you don't know much, do you? Not enough to justify the distress that's coming over you, and especially not enough enough to justify leaving the house without any solid evidence. So this is completely different. You have no idea what's going on, and the rational part of your brain tells you not to make any rash decisions until you can figure things out. Hell, you don't even know if what you saw yesterday was real or not, all thanks to the blow to your head. If it was real, and if whatever that was comes again tonight, you should find a way to confirm your suspicions once and for all. Maybe you can hide somewhere and wait for it to show up. Despite feeling unsure of anything, something tells you that confronting it directly would be a bad idea. Hmm. Maybe you could also use something to collect some proper evidence. Alright, so fighting it's no longer an option now, basically. Once you done fucked up, you done fucked up forever, so... All right, so I'll take the camera. And then I guess I'll go hide. And pray. <laughs> hide? Sure. You step inside the closet. It's cramped. This is totally a great idea. But there's enough space for one person inside. You leave the door open slightly. Just enough for you to peek through the gap. Oh, good. We're going to peek through the gap. You can see the sunlight fading away little by little as you wait anxiously. Camera at the ready. Oh god, I don't want to do this. <gasps> it's here. Oh, that's the line too. It's here. Oh, its face is going to appear and it's just going to slam the door open. Go away. Go away. Oh, God, it can smell me, can't it? <laughs> what you saw yesterday was true after all, and it's back. <laughs> the creature suddenly throws the closet door open and grabs you by the ankle. On impulse, you flash the camera right in the creature's face. The creature stumbles back, dazed by the flash, allowing you to kick it aside and out of the way. I need to get out of here. You feel like you made a mistake. You should have gotten out of the house when you had the chance. There's no time to dwell on that now. You need to go. Oh, God, I'm dead regardless. Yep. Okay, I can't. I'm like trapped in a corner. <laughs> All right, so the door is still blocked up. I wonder if I could have used the fire, like grab the deodorant and spray. And use the fire thing to like spray the black substance on the door. The kitchen door doesn't open. It automatically made me leave the room, guys. That was not me moving then. So there's nothing I could do there. It still took the time to block up the window when I, I mean, the downstairs when I was upstairs. And I don't think I can go out my other bedroom window, can I? Hmm. What I need to really do is be like standing at the ready with the motherfucking deodorant spray. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I would have skipped through there, but there's like no way to do so. Alright. In we go. You try pulling it off, but it seems probably stuck to the wood. Still won't let me get the deodorant. I must be flagged for, you know, have learned the deodorant doesn't work. <laughs> hey, obtain the camera. Alright, we're gonna see if this will work. Ugh. This feels like this whole hiding thing is just such a bad idea. It's so counterintuitive to anything I would do, also. Which might be why I can't shake the feeling it's a bad idea. Ugh, the suspense in this part is fucking tangible. Palatable. Both. 
<laughs> Smell it. Shit. Not that time. Okay. Grabs you by the ankle. On impulse, you flash the camera. Alright, so I auto run out. Should have gotten out of the house. There's no time to dwell. You need to go. Nope. Yes. Okay. Chain the deodorant spray. Okay. Alright. So how do I use the fucking deodorant spray? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, when did it... Well, shit. Let's go ahead and save to a new file here. How do I fight back? I don't... I can't get out the kitchen window. It still doesn't open. Maybe I can just dive out of the second floor window. You see the street is strangely deserted. Great. That's helpful. I don't have a cell phone. Alright, well, come here, buddy. Come here, friend. Shit! Is he not- he's just gonna block the stairs? Okay. You shut the door behind you and lock it quickly. Even with the locked door between you and the creature, you don't feel safe at all. Thinking back, that thing did manage to unlock the window from the outside. What if it can unlock doors too? I need to do something. You tried to open the window, but it's stuck. Damn it. The phone is dead. Of course the fucking phone is dead. Wait. You suddenly remember you have the lighter and the deodorant spray. Maybe you can. Uh, press A to light the fire. Shit! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> it took a while, but the creature eventually succumbed to the flames. You stood there, shocked, watching as it started thrashing around violently and smashing into the furniture. We're gonna have to go to Ikea again after this. Once you realize what's happening, you try backing away, but your feet got caught on something and you fell down. You tried backing away, but... Despite being on fire, the creature held onto your ankle tightly, refusing to let go. Eventually, it wasn't the only thing that was on fire. Awesome! Did I die? Oh shit! Well, shit. Oh no, okay. Ending. It's an ending. I got credits, guys. <laughs> Scripts Yan Fly, Yami, Mog Hunter, Galv, Lemon Green, and Mithran. Original graphics Space Setta. Playtesters Star Skip and Gold. Visit spacesetta.tumblr.com for news and updates. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want more content. And I'm going to go ahead and do a search and find out if there are more endings. Because that feels kind of, you know, bad end. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it is bad end. That could be just, you know, the way it's supposed to go down. I don't know. So we'll find out. <laughs> if there is... I will go ahead and record more. Uh, and I, I do apologize to you guys about the way everything's going right now. My sound card is being fucking awful. I'm trying to find workarounds for the recordings and stuff. So I may end up having to take a little bit of a break until I can get something to replace it. So I am sorry about that, guys. All right. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, God. That was... Oh god, that was a mistake. Oh, such a mistake!